Okay, now, hope you have had a wonderful day. Thank you for tuning in. Going to give everyone a few minutes to join. So just bear with me for a brief moment as I wait for some people to join this live. Thank you very much for all of you who have been tuned in over the past week and a half or so. Really appreciate you tuning in to check out the information. Hope it's been helpful for you and insightful and valuable. So I will go ahead and get started now. For those who are new to me or unfamiliar with me, my name is Candace Washington, also known as the Client Curator, because I help entrepreneurs increase their revenue by improving their client retention. And if you are catching this on the replay, I would kindly ask that you type replay in the comments so that I know that you were able to view this whenever you had a chance in your schedule. Hey, Janae, thank you so much for joining. So for those who are unaware, every day in the month of December, we are going live to talk about various topics as it relates to customer experience, client retention, and improving your revenue through retention. And so today is day number 11. And today we're going to be talking about why it's important to ask your clients for feedback. So this is a, a task and an activity that a lot of business owners overlook, uh, not necessarily intentionally, but it's one of the most valuable things that you can do for your business is to ask your clients and customers for their feedback. Just because you're not getting any feedback doesn't necessarily mean that your customers and your clients are satisfied with the experience that they're having doing business with your company or with the service that they've been receiving or the products that they've received or so forth. And if you don't ask for feedback and you don't really know how their experience is going and how their perception of their experience is going, they could very likely take their business elsewhere and you will never know why. And so it's really important to always engage with your clients and customers periodically to ask for their feedback on their experience with you. Doing this allows you to get ahead of any problems that they may be having, allows you to course correct in real time. I know for me, when it comes to business and just in life in general, I'm really big on course correcting in real time. I don't want to know about a problem long after it has come and gone when I'm no longer able to do something to resolve the problem or fix the problem. I like to course correct in real time. And so when you ask your clients and your customers for their feedback, it allows you the opportunity to do this, to course correct in real time so that if there is something that needs to be fixed, something that needs to be tweaked or something that needs to be resolved, you're able to get ahead of it blowing up into something much bigger than it is and allows you to make those changes and therefore improve your experience that your customer and your client is having and also retain them as a client and a customer and not lose them to another business. It also allows you to ask your or to wow your customers and your clients with your commitment to excellence. It's very easy and simple to tell which businesses are committed to delivering exceptional customer experiences and delivering exceptional customer service. I, the one thing, the one company that I think of off the top of my head is Chick-fil-A. They are really committed to excellent service to all of their customers and delivering an, an exceptional um, experience for their customers. And so you want to have the same effect in your business by being able to wow your clients and your customers with your commitment to delivering exceptional service and an exceptional experience. So just to recap really quickly, uh, no feedback doesn't necessarily mean that your clients and customers are satisfied with the experience that they're having. By asking for feedback, it allows you to get ahead of problems before they become bigger and snowball into something greater. And it also allows you to wow your customers and clients with your commitment to excellence. So with that being said, I hope this information was valuable. I, I invite you, excuse me, to book a free discovery call with me. I put the link in the comments above so that we can evaluate whether our signature client curator program would be a good fit to help your business with your customer experience and improving your client retention, especially as we go into 2020. We want to make sure that we're firing on all cylinders, that our customer experiences are exceptional, that we are retaining more clients than we ever have and maybe than we currently do right now, so that we, we can make sure to increase the revenue that we are getting from our current and existing clients and customers customers. 
Thank you so very much for tuning in. I, if you have any questions or comments, please drop them in the comment section. I will be sure to come back and respond to those. I will be back tomorrow with another topic. And until then, please be blessed and remember to treat people well. Have a good night, you guys.